Hi guys. <laughs> that was a weird eye. So I'm creating this cute app, uh, which is uh, uh, going to be accessible for anyone from the age group of my entire family. So this, uh, so I've recently due to the pandemic, all of us are getting online and we like to play online. Uh, so I was thinking if I could create something very cute and accessible where uh, anyone can come in with just a link and start playing. So, so I named this game as Spam Loss. Um, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this cute little guy right over here. So I'm going to create another character. So here's my tall, long dude. Uh, and I'm going to create uh, a similar structure like this. I'm right. Uh, I'm directly working in Figma, so this is a short tutorial for Figma, where I'm creating the character in Figma itself. So what I'm going to do is first, uh, how did I pick this amazing gradient? Well, for that you can go to something called as Color Use, and uh, you can download it. You can install this plugin. Once you install it, uh, then you go back to your plugins and select where is the color you okay and there you get beautiful shades of these lovely lovely palettes so select the object and then you can select any palette you want and that is how i got these lovely gradients right here so you can download this plugin called as color you you can fill it with random patterns until you like it but I'll, I'm choosing a very subtle look for this. So maybe I'll go with something very subtle. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, now I can do is just copy it again. So now that I've copied one more layer, just copy it back again. And now select this and go over here and subtract the selection. So you get this something like this. You delete the layer which you had copied. Now you get this layer back on the top of the original layer. And you can fill it with a solid color of white. Just make sure that they are both aligned on the top angle. And then you can reduce the color. It has a nice subtle shadow to it. Now what I'm again going to do is I'm going to select a pen tool and then just create a random rough path. Now you have it. And then you're going to subtract the stroke and add in the fill and select a color which is on the darker end. So now that you have a dark shade of the particular color, uh, what I want you to do is select the old rectangle layer, copy it, control C, Control V and you have another layer on the bottom. This is the bottom layer. This is the bottom rectangle layer and this is the original layer and this is the subtracted layer. So you have three layers right now. And what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have the random vector selected and the bottom layer selected using command and then press your left left button on your mouse and there you get a uh, use as mask you have a lovely mask now what you can bring uh, do is bring this mask group back to below the subtracted layer and then you have this nice curve going in the middle of in the middle of the object and reduce the opacity to whatever feels right to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, fun uh, curve, copy it again so that you have another nice layer going. You can change the color to white. If it is blocking your area, bring it below it. Here you go. You can reduce the opacity until you feel like. Try to make nice curves and so that it gives a depth to the object. 
Now what I'm going to do is add these little highlighters. So I'm going to pick rectangle, create a rectangle and add the rounded corners to 200. That's a maximum. And you're going to bring. So right now this is on the curve and this over here is a curve itself. So what we're going to do is have this curved shadow for that we're going to bring in the pen we're going to get a nice curve to it right here uh, select the stroke as to be wide what i want you to do is increase the stroke uh with the stroke width over here and then you can do a cap of round here you get you have a rounded cap and it looks like something like this if you want a, a higher width you can increase the width to match this highlighter over here and then you can just go here yeah that's and then if you want to convert this stroke into a width you have to go to object and outline the stroke the shortcut is shift shift command o so you can press the stroke and then shift command o and now it's like a whole object itself so you can place it here and i i want to add a small circle so here you go a small circle below it so it aligns with the design on the purple blob and now i'm going to reduce the opacity there you go reducing the opacity bringing it a little below I do feel like this, uh, it's not matching the edge. So I'm going to go back again to the stroke. Just undo everything. So right now I'm using just the pen tool and tweaking the edges so that you can tweak it accordingly. Yeah, sometimes you just spend a lot of time just tweaking. Okay, that there, there you go. And then just reduce the opacity. Oh, it still has that. So what we're going to do is increase the opacity. Okay. And then we're going to just take a circle right here and take it to white and reduce the opacity again. Keep it around 40, 50 so that we more. Okay. So now you have it, uh, what you can do is create those lovely eyes with two circles and these are going to be white. Uh, so right now I've created like a full circle. What I'm going to do is create a circle, then select, double tap on it, select one of the pointers and delete it. Now you have a half circle. So what you can do is select the circle, add on a stroke to it. Uh, increase the height and go inside go inside the uh, more tab of the advanced stroke and add in a round round cap to it once you add in the round cap you can still increase the size of it it looks like this then you reduce the size of it now add it over here it's too big yeah reduce it it's too big. Okay. Now this one looks like it has its eyes closed. Like it's happy. Now we're going to give it. Um, now we're going to create this shape. So we're going to take a circle again. Take a circle again. Select this. Delete it. Now take the pen tool. And then complete the circle. So now you have a nice semicircle going. Fill it. Fill it with the same color of the gradient so that you have a darker shade. Here you go. There's a darker shade. Now copy the semicircle again. Now this is an ellipse, which is the dark color of the mouth. Now copy it again. Now you're going to give the rim for the mouth. In the rim of the mouth, you're going to create a stroke. You're going to remove the fill and add in a nice stroke to it. 
make sure you give it a different color a little bit so that it stands out increase the stroke size and make sure you keep the stroke outside and then you also add in a round corner radius here you go you add a round corner radius now i'm going i want to create this nice little white teeth i'm going to copy the dark color of the mouth again and reduce the size of it reduce the size of it for the teeth and there you go just see here you go now you have a teeth a dark so this is where your teeth resides so the bottom layer is dark color of the mouth the teeth and then the rim of the mouth and here you go is your baldy long tall dude created <laughs> smiling isn't it okay and the last portion if you want to create those nice little cheeks this one what you need to do is select the ellipse here you go you select the ellipse select the pink color or anything so i've already selected a pink color you can select it and then you're going to go to effects select effects click on this plus button and then you can go into uh the back background blur no layer blur select the layer blur and you can adjust the size of the blur i like it on this level and then you can just reduce the opacity a little bit so that it blends in a little more copy it and there you have it a cute tall long dude you can just group it together so you can move it there you go and i'm going to i'm going to copy this now i have two for the family what i do want to do is create a little more darker shade of the mouth so that it, yeah that's better yay yeah so just adding a little more fun characters to this entire piece. Now this is how you do a quick vector illustration in Figma itself. So I'm going to add him right over here. I can change the color to look. And then you just go here. Keep on clicking. You go to the original layer. You just control C, control V. Go to the fun curves. Control C, control V. Control C, Control V. Here you have it. I changed the color just in a quick minute. I have the subtracted layer. I want to go. Here you go. And I can change the eyes. There you go. I do like the green color though. Kinds of bring up the poppiness. I reduce the opacity. Now I just have to change the color of the mouth to green. Now change the teeth is going to be the same. The rim of the uh, mouth will be a little different color. There you go. This looks better. I like this color. I do think they come from the same family then. These two look much cuter than this color. So I'm going to discard this color and keep this color. I hope you enjoyed the session. So I have to create a lot more of these characters. And then we'll get back into the episode 2. Where we're transferring this uh, uh, Figma file into Framer. And if you want to stay tuned. Uh, you can watch me work on the second screen again. See you in a bit. Ciao, ciao.